Here are 50 detailed and informative planning and budgeting related interview questions and answers for SAP Analytics Cloud SSC interviews. 1. What is SAP Analytics Cloud SSC? Answer. SAP Analytics Cloud SAC is a comprehensive, cloud-based analytics platform that combines business intelligence BI augmented analytics and enterprise planning capabilities. It allows users to create and visualize data models, perform real-time analysis, generate insights using AI-driven features, and streamline financial planning and budgeting processes. SSC integrates with various SAP and non-SAP data sources, providing a unified solution for analytics and planning. 2. What are the main features of SAP Analytics Cloud? Answer. The main features of SAP Analytics Cloud include A. Business Intelligence BI, tools for data exploration, visualization, and reporting. B. Augmented Analytics, AI-driven insights, predictive analytics, and smart discovery. C. Enterprise Planning, Migrated Financial Planning, Budgeting, and Forecasting Capabilities. D. Collaboration Context Collaboration Tools for Discussion and Decision Making. E. Data Integration Connectivity to Various Data Sources, including SAP and Non-SAP Systems. F. Security Robust Security Features, including Data Encryption and Access Control. 3. How Does SSC Support Financial Planning and Budgeting? Answer. SSC supports financial planning and budgeting through its enterprise planning capabilities. It allows users to create detailed financial models, perform variance analysis, forecast future performance, and simulate various scenarios. SSC offers tools for managing budgets, tracking expenditures, and aligning financial plans with strategic objectives. It also provides real-time data integration and collaboration features to ensure accurate and up-to-date planning processes. 4. What is a planning model in SAP Analytics Cloud? Answer. Planning model in SAP Analytics Cloud is a structured representation of an organization's financial data, including accounts, categories, versions, and time dimensions. It serves as the foundation for planning, budgeting, and forecasting activities. Planning models support data entry, allocation, and calculation logic, enabling users to perform detailed financial analysis and create comprehensive plans. 5. How do you create a planning model in SSC? Answer. To create a planning model in SSC. A. Navigate to the Modeler section and select Create Model. B. Choose the option for a planning model. C. Define the dimensions, such as accounts, categories, versions, and time. D. Configure the data granularity and currency settings. E. Import data from various sources or manually input data. F. Set up the necessary calculations, allocations, and business rules. G. Save and validate the model to ensure it meets your planning requirements. 6. What are dimensions in SAP Analytics Cloud Planning Models? Answer. Dimensions in SAP Analytics Cloud Planning Models are attributes or categories that define and organize data. Common dimensions include A. Accounts, representing financial accounts such as revenues, expenses, assets, and liabilities. B. Time, representing time periods such as years, quarters, months, and weeks. C. Categories, representing different scenarios such as actuals, budgets, forecasts, and versions. D. Organization, representing entities such as business units, departments, or regions. E. Other custom dimensions, specific to the business context, such as products, projects, or customers. 7. What is a version in SSC planning models? Answer. A version in SSC planning models represents a specific set of data within the planning process, such as different scenarios or stages of the planning cycle. Common versions include A. Actuals, 
historical data that has already occurred. B. Budget. The initial financial plan for a given period. C. Forecast. Updated projections based on actual data and changing assumptions. D. What if scenarios, different hypothetical scenarios to simulate various business conditions and outcomes. 8. How do you perform data entry in SSC? Planning models? Answer. Data entry in SSC. Planning models can be performed through A. Manual input. Directly entering data into the cells of a planning model. B. Data import. Uploading data from external sources such as spreadsheets or other systems. C. Data integration. Connecting to live data sources such as SAP, ERP, or other databases. D. Input tasks. Assigning data entry responsibilities to specific users through collaborative planning processes. 9. What is a data action in SAP Analytics Cloud? Answer. A data action in SAP Analytics Cloud is a script-based feature that allows users to automate and execute complex calculations, allocations, and data transformations within planning models. Data actions enable the creation of custom logic for planning scenarios, such as spreading costs, reallocating budgets, or performing multi-step calculations. 10. How do you create a data action in SSC? Answer. To create a data action in SSC. A. Navigate to the Data Actions section. B. Click on Create Data Action. C. Define the parameters such as target model, version, and time period. D. Add steps to the data action, including calculations, allocations, and data transformations. E. Configure the script using the provided script editor. F. Validate the data action to ensure it performs as expected. G. Save and execute the data action to apply the changes to your planning model. 11. What is the purpose of the value driver tree in SSC? Answer. The value driver tree in SSC is a visual modeling tool that helps users understand the relationships between different financial metrics and their impact on business outcomes. It allows users to create hierarchical models that link key drivers, such as revenue, cost, and profit, enabling scenario analysis and performance optimization. Value driver trees facilitate what-if analysis and strategic planning by providing insights into how changes in key drivers affect overall business performance. 12. How do you create a value driver tree in SSC? Answer. To create a value driver tree in SSC. A. Go to the Stories section and select Create Story. B. Choose Value Driver Tree from the available widgets. C. Define the root node, representing the primary metric, such as profit or revenue. D. Add child nodes to represent the contributing factors, such as sales volume, price, or cost components. E. Configure the relationships and calculations between the nodes. F. Use the value driver tree to perform scenario analysis and visualize the impact of changes in key drivers. 13. What is a forecast in SAP Analytics Cloud, and how is it used? Answer. A forecast in SAP Analytics Cloud is a projection of future financial performance. Based on historical data, current trends, and assumptions about future conditions. Forecasts are used to update financial plans, assess potential outcomes, and make informed business decisions. SSC provides tools for creating, analyzing, and adjusting forecasts to align with strategic goals and changing business environments. 14. How do you create a forecast in SAP Analytics Cloud? Answer. To create a forecast in SAP Analytics Cloud. A. Access the planning model containing the historical data. B. Select the version you want to use for forecasting, such as the current period's actuals. C. Use built-in forecasting tools to project future values based on historical trends and patterns. D. Adjust the forecast manually or using predictive algorithms to refine the projections.
E. Save the forecast version and use it for comparison with budgets and other scenarios. 15. What is an allocation in SAP Analytics Cloud, and how is it used in planning? Answer. An allocation in SAP Analytics Cloud is the process of distributing values from a source to one or more targets based on predefined rules. Allocations are used in planning to distribute costs, revenues, or other financial metrics across various dimensions such as departments, projects, or time periods. This helps in accurately reflecting the financial impact of shared resources and activities. 16. How do you create an allocation in SAP Analytics Cloud? Answer. To create an allocation in SAP Analytics Cloud. A. Navigate to the Allocation section in the Planning Model. B. Define the allocation step by specifying the source data, such as total costs or revenues. C. Select the target dimensions, such as cost centers or periods, where the data will be allocated. D. Configure the allocation rules, such as fixed percentages, driver-based methods, or custom formulas. E. Validate and run the allocation to distribute the values according to the defined rules. 17. What is predictive planning in SAP Analytics Cloud? Answer. Predictive planning in SAP Analytics Cloud involves using machine learning and predictive algorithms to generate forecasts and scenarios based on historical data and trends. This feature allows users to leverage advanced analytics to enhance their planning processes, improve accuracy, and identify potential risks and opportunities. 18. How do you use predictive planning in SAP Analytics Cloud? Answer. To use predictive planning in SAP Analytics Cloud. A. Access the planning model with historical data. B. Select the time series or measures you want to forecast. C. Use the predictive forecast feature to apply machine learning algorithms to the selected data. D. Review and adjust the generated forecast as needed. E. Integrate the predictive results into your planning and budgeting process to inform decision making. 19. What is a story in SAP Analytics Cloud? Answer. A story in SAP Analytics Cloud is a collection of visualizations, charts, tables, and other components that present data, insights, and analysis in a structured format. Stories are used to communicate findings, track performance, and support decision-making by providing a comprehensive view of key metrics and trends. 20. How do you create a story in SAP Analytics Cloud? Answer. To create a story in SAP Analytics Cloud. A. Go to the Stories section and select Create Story. B. Choose the layout and template that best fits your needs. C. Add data sources, such as models or datasets, to the story. D. Insert visualizations, such as charts, tables, and maps, to represent the data. E. Customize the visualizations by adjusting filters, formatting, and interactions. F. Save and share the story with stakeholders to support analysis and decision-making. 21. What is data wrangling in SAP Analytics Cloud? Answer. Data wrangling in SAP Analytics Cloud refers to the process of cleaning, transforming, and preparing raw data for analysis. It involves tasks such as removing duplicates, handling missing values, standardizing formats, and creating calculated fields. Effective data wrangling ensures that the data used in planning and budgeting is accurate, consistent, and ready for analysis. 22. How do you perform data wrangling in SAP Analytics Cloud? Answer. To perform data wrangling in SAP Analytics Cloud. A. Access the data model or dataset you want to prepare. B. Use the data wrangling tools to clean and transform the data. C. Apply functions such as filtering, sorting, grouping, and aggregating to organize the data. D. Create calculated fields and custom formulas to derive new insights. E. Validate the transformed data to ensure it meets the analysis requirements. 23. What is the role of data blending in SAP Analytics Cloud? 
Answer, data blending in SAP Analytics Cloud involves combining data from multiple sources to create a unified view for analysis. This allows users to integrate data from different systems, such as ERP, CRM, and external databases, enabling comprehensive analysis and informed decision-making. 24. How do you perform data blending in SAP Analytics Cloud? Answer. To perform data blending in SAP Analytics Cloud. A. Connect to multiple data sources using the Connections feature. B. Create a new model or dataset that includes the data from these sources. C. Use the Join feature to blend the data based on common dimensions or keys. D. Validate the blended data to ensure it is accurate and consistent. E. Use the blended data in your planning models and stories for comprehensive analysis. 25. What is the purpose of Smart Insights in SAP Analytics Cloud? Answer. Smart Insights in SAP Analytics Cloud use machine learning algorithms to automatically generate key insights from the data. These insights help users quickly identify patterns trends, and anomalies without needing to manually explore the data. Smart insights enhance decision-making by providing actionable recommendations and highlighting important data points. 26. How do you use smart insights in SAP Analytics Cloud? Answer. To use smart insights in SAP Analytics Cloud. A. Open a visualization or data point in your story. B. Right-click on the data point and select Smart Insights. C. Review the automatically generated insights, including key drivers, trends, and anomalies. D. Use the insights to inform your analysis and decision-making process. 27. What is the purpose of the digital boardroom in SAP Analytics Cloud? Answer. The Digital Boardroom in SAP Analytics Cloud is an interactive presentation tool designed for executive meetings and strategic discussions. It provides a comprehensive, real-time view of the organization's performance through dashboards, stories, and visualizations. The Digital Boardroom enables collaborative decision-making and enhances the effectiveness of boardroom presentations by providing detailed insights and analysis. 28. How do you set up the digital boardroom in SAP Analytics Cloud? Answer. To set up the digital boardroom in SAP Analytics Cloud. A. Go to the Digital Boardroom section and select Create Boardroom. B. Define the layout and structure of the boardroom presentation. C. Add pages and sections to organize the content. D. Insert visualizations charts, and tables from your stories and models. E. Customize the interactions and navigation to enhance the user experience. F. Save and share the digital boardroom with stakeholders for use in meetings. 29. What is the role of collaboration tools in SAP Analytics Cloud? Answer. Collaboration tools in SAP Analytics Cloud enable users to communicate, share insights and work together on planning and analysis tasks. These tools include commenting, sharing stories, assigning tasks, and discussing data points in context. Collaboration features enhance teamwork, improve decision-making, and ensure alignment across the organization. 30. How do you use collaboration tools in SAP Analytics Cloud? Answer. To use collaboration tools in SAP Analytics Cloud. A. Open the story or model you want to collaborate on. B. Use the Comments feature to add notes and discuss specific data points. C. Share the story or model with other users by setting appropriate access permissions. D. Assign tasks and track progress using the Calendar and Tasks features. E. Use the integrated chat and discussion tools to communicate with team members in real time. 31. What is the purpose of data security in SAP Analytics Cloud? Answer. Data security in SAP Analytics Cloud ensures that sensitive information is protected from unauthorized access and breaches. It involves implementing access controls, encryption, and auditing to safeguard data integrity and confidentiality. 
Data security is crucial for maintaining trust, compliance with regulations, and protecting the organization's assets. 32. How do you implement data security in SAP Analytics Cloud? Answer. To implement data security in SAP Analytics Cloud. A. Define user roles and permissions to control access to data and functionalities. B. Use the security settings to configure authentication and authorization mechanisms. C. Implement data masking and encryption to protect sensitive information. D. Set up audit logs and monitoring to track access and changes to the data. E. Regularly review and update security policies to ensure compliance with best practices and regulations. 33. What is a multi-action in SAP Analytics Cloud? Answer. Multi-action in SAP Analytics Cloud is a feature that allows users to execute multiple data actions, calculations, and workflows in a sequence. Multi-actions enable complex planning processes by automating and streamlining tasks that require multiple steps, such as data integration, allocations, and forecasting. 34. How do you create a multi-action in SAP Analytics Cloud? Answer. To create a multi-action in SAP Analytics Cloud. A. Navigate to the Multi-Actions section and select Create Multi-Action. B. Define the sequence of steps, including data actions, calculations, and workflows. C. Configure the parameters and dependencies for each step. D. Validate the multi-action to ensure it performs as expected. E. Save and execute the multi-action to automate the planning process. 35. What is the purpose of scenario planning in SAP Analytics Cloud? Answer. Scenario planning in SAP Analytics Cloud allows organizations to create and analyze different hypothetical scenarios to understand potential outcomes and make informed decisions. It helps users evaluate the impact of various factors, such as market changes, economic conditions, and strategic initiatives on the organization's performance. 36. How do you perform scenario planning in SAP Analytics Cloud? Answer. To perform scenario planning in SAP Analytics Cloud. A. Create different versions in your planning model to represent various scenarios. B. Input assumptions and adjust key variables for each scenario. C. Use data actions and calculations to simulate the outcomes. D. Compare the results of different scenarios using visualizations and reports. E. Use the insights gained to inform strategic decisions and planning. 37. What is the role of predictive algorithms in SAP Analytics Cloud? Answer. Predictive algorithms in SAP Analytics Cloud use machine learning techniques to analyze historical data and generate forecasts, identify trends, and uncover patterns. These algorithms enhance the accuracy of planning and budgeting by providing data-driven insights and helping users make informed predictions about future performance. 38. How do you apply predictive algorithms in SAP Analytics Cloud? Answer. To apply predictive algorithms in SAP Analytics Cloud. A. Select the dataset or planning model you want to analyze. B. Choose the predictive algorithm that best fits your needs, such as time series forecasting or regression analysis. C. Configure the algorithm parameters and input the necessary data. D. Run the predictive analysis to generate the results. E. Review and integrate the predictive insights into your planning and decision-making process. 39. What is the purpose of currency conversion in SAP Analytics Cloud? Answer. Currency conversion in SAP Analytics Cloud is used to translate financial data from one currency to another based on predefined exchange rates. This is essential for organizations operating in multiple countries or dealing with international transactions, as it ensures consistency and accuracy in financial reporting and analysis. 40. How do you configure currency conversion in SAP Analytics Cloud? Answer. To configure currency conversion in SAP Analytics Cloud. 
A. Define the currencies and exchange rates in your planning model. B. Set up the currency conversion rules, specifying the source and target currencies. C. Apply the conversion rules to the relevant data in your model. D. Validate the converted data to ensure accuracy. E. Use the converted data in your planning and reporting processes. 41. What is a story filter in SAP Analytics Cloud? Answer. A story filter in SAP Analytics Cloud is a tool that allows users to apply criteria to a story to control which data is displayed. Filters can be applied to specific charts, tables, or the entire story to focus on relevant data and exclude unnecessary information. This enhances the clarity and relevance of the analysis. 42. How do you create and apply a story filter in SAP Analytics Cloud? Answer. To create and apply a story filter in SAP Analytics Cloud. A. Open the story you want to filter. B. Select the filter option and choose the dimension or measure to filter by. C. Define the filter criteria, such as specific values, ranges, or conditions. D. Apply the filter to the desired components, such as charts or tables. E. Adjust and save the filter to refine the displayed data. 43. What is a planning function in SAP Analytics Cloud? Answer. Planning function in SAP Analytics Cloud is a predefined or custom script that performs specific planning tasks, such as data calculations, allocations, or adjustments. Planning functions automate repetitive tasks, enforce business rules, and enhance the efficiency and accuracy of the planning process. 44. How do you create a planning function in SAP Analytics Cloud? Answer. To create a planning function in SAP Analytics Cloud. A. Go to the Planning Functions section and select Create Planning Function. B. Define the purpose and scope of the planning function. C. Configure the input parameters such as dimensions, measures, and data ranges. D. Write the script using the provided script editor to perform the desired calculations or actions. E. Validate and save the planning function to ensure it works correctly. F. Execute the planning function as part of your planning and budgeting process. 45. What is the role of input controls in SAP Analytics Cloud? Answer. Input controls in SAP Analytics Cloud allow users to interact with and manipulate data within a story. They enable users to filter data, adjust variables, and perform what-if analysis directly within the visualizations. Input controls enhance the flexibility and interactivity of the analysis, allowing users to explore different scenarios and insights. 46. How do you create and use input controls in SAP Analytics Cloud? Answer. To create and use input controls in SAP Analytics Cloud. A. Open the story you want to enhance with input controls. B. Add an input control widget, such as a drop-down list, slider, or date picker. C. Configure the input control to link it to specific dimensions or measures. D. Define the options and settings for the input control. E. Use the input control to adjust the data and explore different scenarios in the story. 47. What is the purpose of a dashboard in SAP Analytics Cloud? Answer. A dashboard in SAP Analytics Cloud is a visual representation of key performance indicators, KPIs, and metrics, providing a high-level overview of the organization's performance. Dashboards consolidate data from various sources into a single, interactive interface, enabling users to monitor trends, identify issues, and make data-driven decisions quickly. 48. How do you create a dashboard in SAP Analytics Cloud? Answer. To create a dashboard in SAP Analytics Cloud. A. Go to the Stories section and select Create Dashboard. B. Choose a layout and design that fits your reporting needs. C. Add visualizations, such as charts, tables, and maps, to represent key metrics. D. Configure filters, input controls, and interactions to enhance the dashboard's usability.
E. Save and share the dashboard with stakeholders for real-time monitoring and analysis. 49. What is the role of data visualization in SAP Analytics Cloud? Answer. Data visualization in SAP Analytics Cloud plays a crucial role in transforming raw data into meaningful insights. It helps users understand complex data sets, identify patterns and trends, and communicate findings effectively. Visualization tools such as charts, graphs, and maps make it easier to analyze data and make informed decisions. 50. How do you create effective data visualizations in SAP Analytics Cloud? Answer. To create effective data visualizations in SAP Analytics Cloud. A. Identify the key metrics and dimensions you want to visualize. B. Choose the appropriate visualization type, such as bar charts, line graphs, or heat maps, based on the data and analysis needs. C. Configure the visualization settings, including labels, colors, and scales, to enhance readability. D. Apply filters and input controls to allow users to interact with the data. E. Test and refine the visualization to ensure it accurately represents the data and provides actionable insights. The above 50 questions and answers provide a comprehensive overview of the key concepts, features, and functionalities related to planning and budgeting in SAP Analytics Cloud SSC. They cover topics such as creating and managing planning models, using predictive algorithms, performing scenario planning, implementing data security, and leveraging collaboration tools. These questions and answers are designed to equip individuals with a deep understanding of SAP Analytics Cloud's capabilities, enabling them to effectively use the platform for financial planning, budgeting, and decision-making processes. This knowledge is crucial for anyone preparing for an interview or seeking to enhance their expertise in SAP Analytics Cloud. For more exciting tips, tricks and more importantly, for valuable insights of interviews, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. It has a lot of valuable information about various insights of interviews. It has a wide range of real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for interviews, and it has wide range of most asked interview questions and answers of various technologies like data science, SAP, AWS, DevOps, and full-stack web development, and more. That will be useful during interviews. It has a wide range of most asked interview questions and answers, and real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for freshers. For two to three years, experienced candidates, and for five or above years, experienced candidates to test their skills by knowing most. Asked interview questions and make themselves ready for interviews.